Hey y'all, Aries Reigns here back again with another video and today we are going to be installing the DC outlet for my Ninja 400. Y'all have seen it before. This sucker right here, the blank off plate, has a screw at the bottom that needs to come off and then we got some dummies in there. We got two pins in there that need to be taken off as well as a dummy plug. So what I'm going to do is take apart, yes, take apart this whole thing again because it came in a little too late. So stick around. We're going to be taking care of that on today's episode. So Kawasaki usually charges an arm and a leg for the DC outlet. They charge about like maybe 150 and the relay itself is close to like $40. I got this on Amazon for a decent price. I got it for like 20 bucks and I got a DC outlet that has power delivery and quick charge 3.0. No matter what device you have, it'll charge it in a GIF. It's waterproof as well. And this will sit right here on the bike. That deep recessed. I have the nut in there. That's why it won't go in there and you have to twist it on there. But that's how it'll sit on open it up here and I'll be able to charge my phone so whenever I go on a trip rest assured I will not lose charge so good news uh, with two turns from this ratchet I was able to remove this this sits like this after two turns I was able to fit my nails in there and unscrew it and it comes with this plug right here so that's how that hole gets made and for this procedure don't know what tools I'm gonna need yet because I don't have much room to work with but I do have my electrical kit. I might have to splice a few things up. I bought this a long time ago and I haven't used it, but it's got a bunch of stuff that I could use to create some wire repair. So I'll be doing that to my kit so that way I can actually have an outlet. All right, that was actually easier. After you do this so many times, it's pretty simple. I'm not gonna take it all out completely, but I have to get in here, right there where that connector's at. There is a dummy connector there and I got to get in there. So that's the next thing on the list. All hardware accounted for. So we're good for now. So this stupid thing was the bane of my existence. This clip right here, it goes connected to that. It wouldn't freaking come out. I had to bend this, put the flashlight in there, use a flathead on one side, then use the flathead on the other side to take it out, finally out. Got that. This goes connected right here, and then I'll grab this and tidy it up a bit. Finally got it connected right here. So I've noticed that this thing is, there is no way for me to connect this back up here. So what I'm gonna do is use a zip tie to zip this up right here with this groove all the way around to prevent this from coming loose due to the vibrations. When I saw this, it looked nothing like the videos that I've seen. See this? They were actually ones that you have to build yourself. These already come pre-built, so I can just slide it in here. That's awesome. So I had to modify this because they came with these and these cannot go on there. It had a fuse as well. I don't need a fuse because that's what this is for. So I had to crimp it, cut it, crimp it. Uh, there was 16 of four, 14 to 16 for these two. And this one's the negative lead and that is focus, the positive lead. So I gotta put the bullet style because the ones that they got there are bullet connectors, one male, one female. So that's the solution to the problem. Had to go to AutoZone to get these bullet connectors and a shame that they couldn't sell them in pairs. I had to sell them separately, so I spent like $6 on this. That was certainly a struggle, but I got the bullets in. Now I gotta organize them. I did test it out, but if you guys wanna see. Well, it's on there, all right. I even got this short connector with a right hand connector for my phone USB type C so that way when this thing rubs because my RAM mount is here it won't make any contact it won't interfere it won't knock the terminal loose let's test out the phone and see if it charges pop this off connect the PD charger okay, and it's charging I'm gonna check to see if it's a fast charge. It is a fast charge. I'm getting 12 volts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Disconnect. And I can turn it off with that button, push of a button. And that's it. 
Now I just gotta button everything up, tidy up, make sure everything's zip tied properly so that way there's no interference. I'm gonna put some tape around there in case there's rain to prevent it from actually getting moisture in there in the plugs. This pretty much concludes the build on the 12 volt DC outlet for my Kawasaki Ninja 400. If you guys take a look again, I just tried out the cable. It's only a 1.5 foot cable. So there it is right there. You have the option to turn it on or off. It could stay on the whole time. If you don't want to overcharge your phone, just push the button. It'll turn it off while it's still connected. So real simple tasking, real simple to do. I could throw the link up in the description so that way you guys can see which one it was that I used. It's actually a pretty decent one. You can put it on any bike. So yeah, uh, again, the guys, this is Aries Reigns. Signing off again, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.